Hi there, my name is Flavio and welcome back to Dreamit Model. Today I bring you Heli from the video game Blast of Us. I went back and forth on the pose that I wanted to model Heli. Um, I started looking at some artwork and some poses from within the video game. There are a lot of great artwork out there, but the one that stand out to me was this one. This pose, in my opinion, really shows the character of Ellie. Someone who is fierce enough to know her way around the sniper rifle, but someone who rather didn't. Usually, in my videos, I show you the entire process of creating a character, from uh, modeling it to painting it, but um, in this video I'll try something different. Since it's my ambitious design well in ever, I decided to create two videos. This one is going to be about the modeling process and the, the next video is going to be about the painting process. The reason why I decided to make this decision was because when I was editing the video, um, the modeling process alone was already 5 minutes long and I didn't want to make uh, the video too long and I also didn't want to cut stuff out, so I decided to create two videos. This is by far the hardest model that I ever did, so I usually uh, tend to choose uh, models that are easy to do, but uh, I want to create a, a little challenge for me and deviate from that conception of uh, modeling characters that are easy. So without any further ado, let's see how I model this character. To model this character, I use ZBrush. To start things off, I use the female head template that comes in ZBrush library and start to change the main shape of the head, tweaking in depth, wide and height to look closer to the main shape of Ellie's head. Before I jump into modeling this character, I did some research on Ellie's face and expressions to absorb them in my brain to make modeling easier despite having the reference image in front of me all the time. It always helps when you study some beforehand, makes the modeling process look more natural and you don't waste time always looking for image while modeling. Another thing I want to say when modeling a character that is more complex is always stick to your idea. Because the design is going to look weird in the beginning, for example, you are working on the eyes, but haven't touched the rest of the face details, like the mouth or nose, um, and the model is not going to look like the design you want, but give it time and be patient that the model is going to look closer to the one you want. Ok, that's enough advices, let's go back to the modeling process. To create the hair, I try a different approach here. Um, normally, I use the mask uh, tool to create the, the area where the hair should be and then extract it. But that method doesn't allow me to work on much details on the area that was attracted, in this case the, the hair. Um, and it is, in this model I wanted to have as much detail as I could. So I opted to import a 3D sphere and uh, start modeling the hair with that uh, sphere. With the 3D sphere, it allowed me to recreate the hair as I wanted, the ponytail for example, the bangs on the side, all the letters I thought they were important, they were there and allowed me to make them. When I was modeling, I always went back to the eyes, nose and cheeks to tweak them as I was getting closer to the model I wanted, just tweaking here and there until I reached the final expression. One thing I opted to do was change the material that I was working on. As you see here, I went back and forward between the poly skin, the grey and marble, as some of them gave me more notion on the details on the face. When I thought that the head was completed, I moved to the body. Here, I used the Z-spheres to create the pose I wanted. Working with these spheres allows you to keep the aspect ratio of all the body parts while moving them to adjust to the pose you want, so you don't have to worry about uh, if one arm is longer than the other, a leg is shorter, basically it keeps everything pretty neat. With the model in the pose I wanted, I start by adding the sweater using the mask tool that I mentioned before. In this case here, since I didn't want as much detail as the hair, I wanted something that had a similar shape as the upper body, the mask tool method was the one I thought that fit better the thing I wanted to make. To design the t-shirt and the jeans, I used the same method and start to add some details to flourish a little bit.
to show the modeling of the head and the body. Um, so the process of creating the sneakers and the backpack aren't in this video. Since I didn't want to deviate from that main goal and uh, add um, more minutes to this video and make it longer. I started by creating the hands, so the right one looked like Ellie was holding the gun and for the left hand I decided to model it to look like Ellie was ready to pull the trigger if she needed. And that was the entire process of modeling Heli. And that was the modeling process. In a future video I'll show you how I printed and painted this model, but until then I'll keep posting videos of the work that I've been doing while I was modeling Ellie. I don't have an exact number of hours that I work on Ellie. I know that I work on her um, a couple hours a day, so uh, at least uh, it took me around uh, 6 to 8 hours to model this character in completion, with uh, including the head and the full body. As always, I will leave the link to download this file in the description below, so you can test it later and print it on your own. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, please subscribe and like this video to keep up to date with my models and support this channel. I will leave you with a little taste of the next process, but until then, thank you for watching and remember, dream on!